It's been almost six weeks since members of the Presidential Steering Committee stepped out for this national briefing on COVID-19. And this time, the exercise is crucial as students prepare to resume a new academic year amidst the third wave. Nigeria has recorded almost 200,000 cases of the virus from the 2.9 million samples collected so far. The NCDC is prepared to carry out tests for schools willing to make themselves available. In addition to the vaccines, we also now have rapid antigen tests that we can test the whole school community in a single day and give every student a result in 15 minutes. And we're ready to work with any school owner in any school in Nigeria. According to the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, over 2.6 million Nigerians have been fully vaccinated, whereas the nation needs to vaccinate over 111 million people to achieve herd immunity. The committee is expecting 52 million doses of vaccine by the second quarter of 2022. There will be enough vaccines to go around soon. By the second quarter of 2022, we would have received about 52 million doses of the vaccines, sufficient enough for our people to be vaccinated. One SAR area is the dispute between Nigeria and the United Arab Emirates over the travel protocols between both countries. The committee is now exploring other options to resolve the impasse. We've gone through Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Now we've been mandated by the task force jointly with the foreign affairs to resolve this impasse. It will be resolved. We're very sure it will be resolved, but it should be resolved in a fair manner to our team and passengers. The committee is also hoping that the striking resident doctors can call a truce in view of the latest promise by the president to clear all outstanding debts.